हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर डेली ईआरपी चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग माय क्लिप्स एंड ज्वाइनिंग माय चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग आई शेयर डेली सम टिप्स ऑन ईआरपी डायनेमिक्स एक्स समटाइम्स आई पोस्ट इन एसक्यूएल एंड देयर इज सम टिप्स सिंगल टिप्स आई शेयर सो इट हेल्पफुल टू यू रिमेंबर यू I said many things to single day. Then it will not help you to remember. So you can learn daily one tips. I hope you will like this video. Even it is small help, but it can be very useful for you. Today I am going to show you the topic is how to add dynamic query range without writing any single line of code. For your SSRS report, which is running from AX ERP, basically AX is the Microsoft product, and this is very being very famous today in the market. We mostly share the technical tips, but uh, some share some functional tips also. So whatever today is sharing, it's in between the. Technical and functional, so it's called a techno-functional query. So let's uh, uh, we start our tips. Uh, this is the Dynamics AX ERP Inventory Management modules. Here you can see report section of the. Uh, Inventory Management module. Here many reports are test. Just I will select one report for you. Like transaction item. Here. These three things is already added to the query dialog box. An item number, date, voucher is fixed range, which is set technically or permanently. But uh, you can also set the range dynamically in AX, which is very small feature of AX. You will learn. You will be uh, smart in AX. Let's say these fields are there. I want to add some extra fields in the range. Here, two type of relations shown. One is one to n. Second one is n to one. One to n means uh, single table has to many records relations. Single record to many and uh, many n to one means many record to single record. Like one to one example, one item may have many transactions. Same you reverse it, many transactions have to relation to a single items. So here we can see invented transactions. It is showing there is no uh, any in three tables among three tables you cannot it. Uh, you cannot find warehouse field to set for your range. You filter warehouse, and you will not get in any of your range. Other field you can set in your way, whatever you want. You can add any number of ranges and if we, you want to uh, add range out of these three tables then you can also do like this if you want to warehouse and site as range then you can do this way Just select here right click and to one uh, invented dimension is the field 
here now it's edit just click on NNT dimension table and you will see all fields related to inventory dimensions either you can select site either you can select warehouse and click ok now lookup will come which side you want to see which warehouse you want to see the report report fine so this way you can add dynamic query in your daily practices you can use in different different reports if it is a standard report it will work very fine and correct result but if it is customized then it may not work properly if report is not customized properly properly in the sense in the standard way of working it will work because some people work like uh, using the simple query coding they print the report there it will not work but if report is developed standard way then it will work I also got some queries from users, from viewers who are viewing my clips like how to see the mod, modules, hotfix installed in X. How can we check which host hotfix is installed in X? It's very simple. Just you go to right click and go to about dynamics AX. Here one option is so installed mod models. Just click this and you maximize the window, you will see all details which version, which hotfix, which layer has been installed in the, your system. Here, no hotfix, so nothing is showing. If hotfix will be there, then it will show. Thanks for watching this clip. If you like, please subscribe it and it will boost our energy to post more on the here in my channel. Thank you very much for watching this clip.